Remember when I said we'd be doing curves next? That was a lie. Turns out most people don't have any idea what I'm talking about when I say let's correct the color of an image. They have some semblance of the color is bland, I want to make it good. Oh, I can see how the image is not good, I want to make it better. I'm looking at something, it seems bluish, but honestly that isn't really understanding what's happening when I take an image from this to this. What exactly am I affecting? What are our goals when we're looking at an image and trying to fix its color? And that depends on the image. Uh, there are three dimensions of color that we're trying to fix. And this video gets a little bit into theory, but I assure you I am not going to bore you because that's not really what I do. Uh, there's three goals that we're trying to shoot for when we're fixing the color of an image. One, we're trying to make it so the, whitest, uh, the lightest point in Im an image or a lightest, the lightest point on an image that here, let's, uh, let's go to this one right here. Uh, the lightest point uh, on the point of focus of an image. So not over here, we don't care about this right here, but say right here, that lightest point is actually white or maybe right here. Also that the darkest point is actually black. And also that the midpoints are a neutral gray rather than being, you know, some weirdo bluish tone. So that's actually what happened in this video. The neutral grays were all blue. We wanted to make it, well, the neutral grays weren't so neutral after all. The most neutral thing that was supposed to be gray was actually a bluish tone. And that's called color casting. And it's a matter of fixing that. So there's three dimensions to look at when fixing color. One is that the lightest light is actually white. And the darkest dark is actually dark, so that's fixing the value. Two, neutral gray is actually neutral gray, and not, as is, was the case in that cat photo, some weirdo, like, bluish neutral thing, and everything had a bluish uh, color tint to it. Uh, so making the neutral gray neutral, and also... And that's called fixing the chroma. And also that the red, reds are actually red, the blues are actually blue, and the purples are actually blue. And that's fixing the hue. And these are the three dimensions of color. A lot of people, when they think about color, they think of, oh, there's orange, and there's green, and there's yellow, and there's all sorts of colors, and they don't really relate to each other in any way. That's not how it works. There's an order to all of the hues. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet. You've learned this. Roy G. Biv. I guarantee you, you've heard that term. And there's a reason that color wheel is so important. Important. It tell us, tell us, it tells us how fixes will work. I'll, I'll show you that in a bit. So it's important to understand hue is one thing that we might be fixing. Chroma, or getting that neutral gray, is another thing. And value, making sure that the whites are white enough and the darks are dark enough, are the third thing. All right, is that enough theory? Are you like, all right, let me just see how to correct the images? Great. A uh, big thanks to Jonathan Poor for this diagram right here. In fact, let me thank the uh, various photographers as I use them. So in an image like this, like I said, this was going to talk about curves. And you know what? Let's actually do that in the next video. This will just have been on color theory, and I'm actually going to talk about using curves to correct these three dimensions of color in the next video.